I don't think we talked about it, but uh, what's soft robotics? Ah. So we talked about like rigid bodies. Like uh, if we can just linger on this whole touch thing. Uh, yeah, so what's soft robotics? I th so um, I told you that I, I really dislike the fact that robots are afraid of touching the world all over their body. So there's a couple of reasons for that. If you, if you look carefully at all the places that robots actually do touch the world, they're almost always soft. They have some sort of pad on their fingers or a rubber sole on their foot. Um, but if you look up and down the arm, we're just pure aluminum or something. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so that makes it hard actually. In fact, hitting the table with your, you know, your rigid arm or nearly rigid arm, uh, is a, is a, it has some of the problems that we talked about in terms of simulation. I think it, it fundamentally changes the mechanics of contact when you're soft, right? You, you turn point contacts into patch contacts, which can have torsional friction. You can have um, distributed load. If I want to pick up an egg, right? If I pick it up with two points, then in order to put enough force to sustain the weight of the egg, I might have to put a lot of force to break the egg. If I envelop it with a with contact all all around, then uh, I can distribute my force across the shell of the egg and have a better chance of not breaking it. So soft robotics is for me a lot about changing the mechanics of contact. Does it make the problem a lot harder? Um, uh, <laughs> quite the opposite. Uh, it it changes the computational problem. I think because of the I think our world and our Mathematics has biased us towards rigid, I see. but it really should make things better in some ways, right? Um, it's it's a. I think the 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 future is unwritten there. Um, but the other thing is, I think do, ultimately, sorry to interrupt, but I yeah. think ultimately it will make things simpler if we embrace the softness of the world. It makes um, it makes things smoother, right? So the the ah. the result of small actions is less discontinuous, but it also means potentially less, you know, instantaneously bad, for instance. I won't necessarily contact something and send it flying off. The other aspect of it that just happens to dovetail really well is that if soft robotics tends to be a place where we can embed a lot of sensors too. So if you change your, um, your hardware and make it more soft, then you can potentially have a tactile sensor, which is measuring the deformation um, so there's a team at, at, at TRI that's working on soft hands and, uh, and you get so much more information if you, you can put a camera behind the skin roughly and, and get fantastic tactile information, which is, um, it's super important. Like in manipulation, one of the things that really is frustrating is if you work super hard on your head mounted, on your perception system for your head mounted cameras. And then you've identified an object, you reach down to touch it. And the first, the last thing that happens right before right at the most important time, you stick your hand and you're occluding your head mounted sensors, right? So in all the part that really matters, um, all of your off board sensors are, you know, are occluded. And really, if you don't have tactile information, then you're, you're blind in an important way. So it happens that soft robotics and tactile sensing tend to go hand in hand.